We can see that the accounts payable has a credit balance. Does it make sense that we are crediting it? Well, accounts payable has a credit balance. We need to make it go up because we owe more money. Therefore, we're going to do the same thing to it as what it is, which in this case is another credit. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that in C5, right click and paste it one, two, three. Okay, so now I'm going to post this to the general ledger. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller to do that. I'm going to put the, the minimize button, bring it down to around 80 and then scroll over here so we can see the accounts payable at the same time. So remember the general ledger, this is called posting, is in the same order, meaning we have assets in green and then the liabilities. We only have this liability over here being the one liability. So if we're going to post raw materials, raw materials is here. Raw materials is the third account on the trial balance. Raw materials is the third account on the general ledger. We are in the debit column, so I'm going to be on the debit side of the raw materials in Q23. I'm going to post it with formula, so I'm going to say equals and point to that 400,000. That should bring, bring this number up when we hit enter, and it should also affect the uh, trial balance. So here's the 550, here's the 550, we're out of balance by the 400. Now I'm going to post the accounts payable. So here's the accounts payable here. It's our first orange account and only orange account because it's a liability. Therefore, it's going to be over here on the general ledger. We're going to post it in the credit side because it says credit. We're just going to say equals and then point to that 400,000 and enter. So that brings our balance to 445. 445 puts us back in balance like so. All right, let's take a look at the next transaction. I'm going to scroll back over here. I'm going to make it a little bit larger again, back up to 100%. And we are now on 1.7, which says direct materials transferred from raw materials to a job. So now we're going to transfer that raw material to a job. So we're basically saying, hey, the, the job is requisitioning this raw material. Raw materials is now going from the stock house, whatever in the corner or the warehouse, to uh, particular jobs. So the jobs here, I'm going to just, we're going to allocate it to these three jobs based on this information and uh, therefore what will the journal entry be well we know raw materials is affected it's going from raw materials in this case to the work in process so and why is it going to the work in process because anytime we affect a job the jobs mean work in process that the jobs are work in process so we're going to post it to work in process in the journal entry then we're going to back it up in this format with um the job sheets so we know that the uh, raw materials is going down because we are now moving it out of raw materials raw materials has a debit balance we need to make it go down so we're going to do the opposite thing to it which in this case would be a credit so i'm going to copy raw materials we're going to put that on the bottom because credits go in the bottom so here's the date i'm putting it on the bottom right clicking pasting one two three i'm going to put it in the credit column and we've got three numbers here so i'm going to put the i'm going to add those up i'm going to say negative and then add them up. I'm going to put brackets around it and put 100,000 plus 170,000 plus 80,000 brackets and enter. So it's 350. Now, why do I put brackets around it like this? You can see in the formula bar that it's up here. It, obviously, if I want to add them up and then flip the sign to make it a negative number, and if I just put a negative before the 100,000, then it, it would be a negative 100 plus the 170 and we'd come up with a negative number. So what we're gonna tell it to do in order of operations is add up these three numbers, brackets, and then take that sum and make it and flip the sign on it. It's basically what we're doing there. So we're gonna to have to do the same thing. Uh, if we credit something for 350, we're obviously gonna to have to debit something for 350. So I'm gonna say negative of this number. I want the debit, I want that number, but flip the sign. And that number will of course go to the work in process. So we're moving it from raw materials to the stuff we're working on. Work in process has a debit balance. We're gonna make it go up by doing the same thing to it, which is another debit. So I'm gonna copy that. We're gonna put that on top in C7, right click and paste one, two, three. All right, I'm gonna bring it back down to 80% down here. We're gonna scroll back over on this side and we're gonna post the work in process. So here's the work in process and here's the work in process it's the fourth account so we're going to scroll over here to work in process fourth account on the general ledger this is called posting and we are in u9 so in u9 we're going to select equal and point to the 350 over here that's going to bring the 83 up in the debit direction to 433 which we can also see on the trial balance we're out of balance of course now by the 350. now we're going to post the raw material here it is here we're going to post it here 
So it's the third account. So here's raw materials down here. We are in the credit section this time because we're going to bring raw materials down. We are in R24 equals the 350. Therefore, the, the 550 is going to go down to 200. We can see that 200 here. We're back in balance here. Now, we've affected the work in process. Now, whenever something happens to the work in process, we want to break that out by job as well. So we're also going to have to break this out by job. So we'll scroll over here to the job sheet. So here's the job sheet over here. Remember, we have our three jobs. And the data then said that we broke this out in terms of the three jobs on 1-7. We are in the direct materials column, and we transferred 100,000 of that 350 to uh, job 14. And that's going to bring our total up. So notice we have what was in there before in terms of direct materials, the direct labor overhead plus the 100 brings us to, to 144 total. Then we're going to do the same thing for job 15 on 17. We transferred in materials of uh, 170,000. So that's going to bring our balance up, our total materials, uh, total direct labor and overhead. We're now at 212. And then for job 16, uh, we have on 17, what was transferred in was 80,000. So now if we sum those up, they add up to the 433, which ties out to what was on our uh, work in process in the general ledger and the trial balance. And if I click on this and I hold down control, I can click here and here highlight those three cells and see that it also sums up to that 350. So the 350 was the journal entry. The 433 is the total of our jobs now. That total will also be seen on the work in process account here in the general ledger. It will also be seen on the trial balance here in work in process. All right, let's move to the next transaction here. We're going to bring it back up to 100%. Scrolling up, moving over. We are going to skip a line. We're now on 112. So now we have direct labor paid. So this is going to be direct labor on the job again. So now the thing with direct labor, well, what's the first thing? Is cash affected? Is cash affected? We're going to say yes in this case. And in this case, we're going to assume that we're paying cash. We're going to simplify the payroll process because we're going to focus in on <laughs> the work in process. So we're going to assume we paid cash here. So cash has a debit balance. We're going to make it go down because we we paid cash to the uh, employees. Therefore, we're going to do the opposite thing to it as what it is. That's a debit. We're going to credit it to make it go down. So I'm going to copy cash going to put it on the bottom of the date, right click and paste it, one, two, three. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to add them up. So in order to add them up and flip the sign, make it a negative number, I'm going to say negative of brackets, the 30,000 plus 